Greetings, Outlander. I think I've heard of you before. Oh, I thank you. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to Serethi Manor, where I have just become recognized by House Redron is house cousin, I believe. Yeah, so, it's so good to meet you. this guy loves me now because I saved his life and his son, so he'll pretty much die for me. <laughs> or at least give me some duties, but he needs some time to consider what I, he should have me do. So there's some other things that I have in mind. I did mention that we could go back and start on the main quest again, but I kind of have another idea. First, I wanted to do something different, but before we get to that, I need to go back to Belmora and sort out this inventory issue. Alright, so I just gotta sell a couple things and stash a couple things, so give me a second. Actually, just come on inside with me to, to Meldor's real quick while I vendor him this armor. Hey, Meldor. I got a shipment of bone mold for you. I'm gonna keep these red run guard shields though. I'm gonna look at these as my token of gratitude from Serethi for saving him and his son. Two shields for two lives. Fair enough, right? I'm keeping them. A symbol of my honor for my house or something like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get like 850 maybe. Yeah, easy. I can go higher. I forget. Like I've I've never like I said I've never really done mercantile, so I'm not used to having a decent skill with them. I'm used to I'm used to getting ripped off. All right, let's go to the mages guild cuz that's like my primary junk dump. Go ahead, Outlander. Rannis, you're standing in the middle of the hallway. You need to excuse yourself. Oh, and I should repair my weapon before I head out. Ah, yes, but I haven't said what we're heading out to to do yet. I said it was something new. But uh, let me stash my things. This will only take a minute. All right, everybody, we're good to go. So I'm going to head to the Silt Strider because our destination lies ahead. So what I have in mind for today is a bit of exploring... If you recall, when we were escorting the Lady Pemini on the way through the Western Gash region, north of Caldera, we ran across a fellow Blades member named Siorvar Horsemouth, who told us that he was keeping a watch on the smugglers of the Bitter Coast. Something to that effect. Actually, we could check the journal and find out exactly what he said. I'm pretty sure it was the latest rumor. Latest rumors? Siorvar. Ah, yes, it's the first one, no doubt. <laughs> As convenience would have it, I monitor smuggling along the Bitter Coast, and the job's too big for me. They move moon sugar, skooma, raw ebony, Dwemer artifacts, you name it, through Hla Ode and Narmok. With the coast honeycombed with smuggler caves, and Kimona Tong locals carrying tiny packages over land by night, I'll never catch them, but maybe you'll have better luck. I'm taking this pretty much like a quest, if you will, although an unofficial one. So let's go to Sedanin and head north from there. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. This is the, the sort of thing that I really like in this game because it's, um, you know, it's just sort of like a little tidbit of information that you might hear that you and your character have to take upon themselves in their own initiative to check it out and, you know, get, reap the rewards. It's not like, go fetch object, bring back, and then I pay you gold, you know. This, this is, uh... This is our own work that we're giving ourselves right now. So let's see. We've already been around here, you know. Um, over there is where the tax, dead tax man was. Over here is where the... What what the hell is it called? Where I got the mentor's ring. That, that tomb. Let's see. What did he say? Did he say... He said caves. Uh, caves, caves. Smuggler caves. Not tombs. Caves. Okay, so I'm looking for caves. And I'm going to probably walk over to the coast here and then head north. And I'm pretty much just going to, like, check out this whole scoop right here. This entire scoop. Because he's got Halaod and Narmok up here. So I'm just going to check out all the caves that I can until I'm pretty much full of loot. So I am not sure how long this is going to take me. I may just cut ahead a little bit here. Just at least until I get around this bend. Unless you want to check it out with me, I guess that's cool too. I'm 
got some nice music. I do have an amulet of water walking. That'll be nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and have a walk on the water. Look at this big ass lot of fish. You causing trouble, bro? Come here. Can I hit him like this? I should be able to. Die. There you go. What the? Stay still. Hold still and let me hurt you. There you go. Oh. Doesn't last for very long, does it? 20 seconds. Uh oh. Well, that's not too bad. I was just chasing a fish. Okay, so there's kind of just like nothing here. And now we've got something here. All right. It's a lovely evening. The moon is shining brightly. There's no lack of light tonight. I could pick some mushrooms. Although, I don't really care to. This isn't... I'm not really focused on that. Whoa, look at this! I bought something on a stump. And the music's changing. What? Oh, oh, come on. I saw it. It was a cloth sack. Get in there. Oh, Morrowind's acrobatics. Why? Come on. This is not supposed to be the difficult. Oh, I had it open. I clicked it again. Come on, game. Yes. 100 gold. Nice. I tell y'all, they like the highest shit in these stumps, man. There's got to be more than I'm missing. I, I'm certain that I'm only scraping the tip of the iceberg. That is not even how that... that that's not the right <laughs> way to say that, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And we found a shipwreck. Right on the mouth of the river, too. Hmm. Silver longsword. It's worth something. The value to weight ratio is not great. Scuttle! Nice. And a shit ton of quam eggs. Well, I just got myself a bunch of free potion ingredients. Restore fatigue. There's even more. Shall we head inside? I thought I had some water breathing. Because these things are usually filled with water. Anything in the cabin? See, I've got torches, right? A couple. Nothing but a bottle in here. Thanks. Pointless ass shit. See, the thing about this game is that um, everything is separated into cells. The world is in, in these things called cells, which is basically just like um, an instance of the world that loads the objects within it. If you look on the map, I'm in unexplored shipwreck, upper level. That is a cell. The, so I was just in that captain cabins, right? That's a single cell. And there's literally nothing in there but a glass bottle. That means somebody had to go out of their way to create a cell and put a single bottle in it. <laughs> Whoops. Wasted my torch. I'm just saying that they might as well have just, like, not had the door be interactable and have no cell. There's no point in going in there. What the hell? I found some ash statues. What are these? Staring into it, you lose yourself and you feel... A sense of dread welling within your soul. I'm putting it back now, because it creeps me the fuck out. Oh yeah, I found some diamonds and shit, cool. And some moon sugar, which I didn't comment on, but I certainly did pick up some moon sugar. Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. I've never actually been in here before. Oh, I'm stuck. God, God damn it. Okay. Get out of there, alright. Cool. Well, it's kind of like Smuggler Cave. Ooh, some droogs. Let's practice on them. I've got plenty of Restore Fatigue potions. Hiya! Die, Fetcher! Scourge of the Seas! I'm about to get some wax. Give me some wax. Ah, Slaughterfish. Hopefully this will love my endurance. I'm trying to get... I got a good bit of gold now. I'm almost at 7,000. So I should certainly be able to train up my endurance the rest of the way after this excursion. At least 
That's the goal. It's alright if I don't quite make it, but it should be bring me pretty close. That's for sure. Stabbing mud crabs. Which literally do one damage to you, so. You know, pro tip if you're starting the game and you're really scrubby and you can't even kill the bandits in Adam Asartus, go kill some mud crabs, man. Go hunt some mud crabs. You can handle mud crabs. What's going on with the water here? We are now in Cliff Racer territory, apparently. And I need my flame bolt. Oh, not that one. That one sucks. Whatever. I'll just use it up. Okay, that one's done. It's gonna make me equip, unequip my mentor's ring unless I do that. Fireball. I wish you would come down here so I can kill you with my weapon. So I can level that. Oh, well, at least I'm loving my enchant. Sort of, I guess. Let's check that skill. Enchant. 40 out of 100. See, it is going up, and I, I have not created a single enchant enchanted item, so it's not from doing that. It's not from crafting, that's for sure. It's from using them. I want to check these stumps, but I can't jump high enough to see what's inside. I don't have... Le I have levitate potions, but I, I don't want to waste them. Although, I do have plenty of ingredients. Just trauma root and racer plumes. I have plenty. Whatever, man. I feel like it's a waste. Alright, I'm not supposed to be hunting mud crabs, so... Let's, let's skip over the, um, over the mud crabs. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at it. You can see, like, a smokiness to it. Look at that. I can't get enough. I'm sorry. I'm doing this. We're watching the shaders. We're watching the shaders. I'm going to do this for as long as I please because it's pleasing me greatly. This is amazing. Oh. Uh, oh, I made it. Nice. I'm getting pretty good at jumping. Okay, let's get over to... Well, actually there could be some caves along the coast, couldn't there? There's a tomb. Might as well pop inside and see what's going on in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with the, the shaders, dude. That's all you need. That's all you need. Aaron, Her he ran! Ancestral tomb. He ran it. I have never seen anyone named he ran, so. Interesting name. Like level 10, that ain't nothing. Let me get Amy little opening. Oh god. You startled me, because I was not expe expecting a flame atronach. I will steal your soul. Ooh, this was giving me a run for my money. He's actually dealing damage to me. Righteousness. Ah, oh, he fucking... He reflected it. These things have reflect. That's no good. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Get up. I have potions, but... Yeah, that went pretty terribly. But I'm still good. I'm alive. I've got healing stuff. God, this rope is just overpowered, man. Fortify strength? Sure, dude, that's nice. I'm supposed to be looking for smugglers, but I'm plundering a tomb instead. My character thinks that, you know, smugglers hide in tombs sometimes. Like those guys over that uh, took Drooling Phelan's guar. Ooh, trying to see fell off. Another one. Sneak, sneaky, sneaky. Damn it. What did you do? What was that pose for? This guy looks like he could be some kind of Japanese superhero, you know what I'm saying? Jeez, these guys are. Holy smokes, these guys are way stronger than the last flame Atronax that I encountered over at Ashal Mawaya. That Daedric shrine over at by Old Velothi. I'm getting pummeled by them, even though I have 75% fire resist. That means there may be something very good inside. So we're going to rest until the old... Uh, what was that shifting sound? I heard like a clink clink. 
Yeah, like that or something. Not entirely like that, but I don't know. What is this a picture of? I don't know. There's another one. Oh. Oh, here it comes. Excuse me while I harvest some bone meal. I say harvest, but I'm just collecting it. And there we go. I absorbed most of his attacks there. All of them, actually. That's lucky. Atronach is overpowered. I am already being aware of this. Yes, it is overpowered, even though you're not a caster. In fact, it's probably most powerful when you aren't a pure caster. More of a sort of a hybrid like I am. And you don't rely on casts, but use them as supplementary stuff. Ooh. Well, it's ectoplasm. Interesting. How it's just kind of spilled on the ground there. Checking my progress here. Endurance, three points. Okay, good, good. Looks like the door's blocked open with a rock. Yeah, I can't activate the door. What's going on in here? You never know if there's like a, a quest attached to this place or not. That's the fun of exploring. Telekinesis. Man, that's pretty handy. I got the Morrow One Code Patch option. Whoops, I don't know why I did that. That, uh, while I'm in my menu, I can just use my alphabetical keys to select spells instead of having to click on them. Which is nice for for something like me, who I only have one spell school, so, you know, I don't have that many to choose from anyway, so, you know. R for recall, T for telekinesis. Whatever. It's all good. It's pretty handy. I like it. Some emeralds on the ground. It's, it's like game designers these days expect people to to overlook small objects like this in the world and they need like a freaking arrow to point at it it saddens me greatly i found a lesser sermon of vivik number 28 light armor skill nice i will take this for my collection i think this is the second one i found the first one being from another ancestral tomb the main quest one what Andrano Ancestral Tomb. I think that's it. Man, those guys were tough. But I did get a fair bit of loot here. That's pretty nice. I would say it's worth it. Yeah, alright. Let's get out of here. Very creepy in here. I fucking god, I love the music. Just, just the atmosphere, man. Look. Listen. Ignore the fact that I got stuck on the bottom stair. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. This ship is docked. There's people on the ship here. I never knew about this ship before. Hmm. Howdy Let's check it out. Let's say hi. If they're smugglers, let's say die. Greetings! Let's see. I'll talk to you. That guy's barefoot. And he's a bald Nord, so he looks like he, he looks drunk. I don't know. What's up? Ilfield. I don't know you. What do you want? Who are you? I'm just traveling the, uh, the area. Battle mage? At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Narivar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the Temple goes out and hunts him down and reveals him as a fake. Why does the Temple worry so much about it? Oh, you know. You know why. I know why. Uh, somebody knows why. I'm gonna steal your shit. Gr grit. Great Wake Cabin. Oh, hello. You must be the captain. I am actually surprised to see something like this in this game. Because you don't see many ships with captains and stuff. It's, you know, it's not like Sky. Oh, wow. This guy's got some good books. What's up, Bedrear? Bedrear. Who, who are you guys? My trade. Barbarian. 
Guards keep peace, chase down criminals. Good for you. Good for them. Good for anybody. See, there's like no way for me to find out who these guys are from their dialogue, at least. Hello. Well, this guy's an outlaw. Vilford the outlaw. What you guys got? Anything incriminating? Well, you don't work for the Komona Tong, that's for sure. Because you're not Dunmer. They would never let a non-Dunmer into, into the Komona Tong. Oh, they've got ebony and You guys are smugglers. Your honor, don't press your luck. Your name is Sitar? <laughs> I'm gonna steal your shit and kill you and take your shit. Wow, look at all this hackalo. I can make so many potions with that. Hello. It's a bunch of Nords. They're all Nords. Nords, Nords, Nords. My trade. I'm a lovable rogue. A silver tongue devil with a taste for the better things in life. But lovable as I am, some people get upset with me. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Little description of a class there. I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna take your shit. Got moon sugar. Outlaws. Lots of ebony. Lots of ebony. Ash statues. Look, they got more. They've got ash statues. <laughs> Grit wake. Open world. I'm just going to. There's a lot of ebony here. And I haven't been able to, uh... I'm gonna set a note on the map. I wonder if it'll persist in the overworld. I mean, on the big one. Or is it only on, the, on this one? Smugglers. Outlaws. Lots of ebony. Raw ebony. Damn it. Well, that's not cool. Because there's no way I can lo look at it if I'm not next to it anyway. In the local map, you know? <laughs> uh. Oh, well. I want to go see if, like, there's any dialogue about this operation in the nearby town. I don't want to go out in cold blood and just, like, murder them. Who knows? Maybe they're... Working for the Empire? Shipping Ebony? I don't know. <sighs> like, that makes a difference to my character's point of view anyway. He hates the Empire. Alright, so Hala Ode. This is nearby. Let's let's uh, ask around for rumors. Maybe someone will know about the... Uh, hey, what the hell? You guys lost some cargo. And there's some fishy monsters. What are you guys, a uh, floating crate? It's, it's it's sinking. What are you talking about? There's like nothing in here anyway. Ooh yeah, I'm gonna drown looking at these shaders. Not really. I'll try to kill this Droog though. Come on. Hey you. What the fuck? Fine, be an idiot. I don't care. Ugh! Come on. Ugh. There we go. And this is some transportation. You can take me to some places. Cool. What's the latest rumors? The local criminal organization, the Komona Tong, was. Oh, they're talking about the uh, the gang war. La Ode uh, secret. Get a ship. Okay, I'm looking for. Some kind of rumor about a ship on the coast full of smugglers or something. I don't even know if it exists, but if it does, it would be around here, I'm guessing. I haven't really talked with much of the people in this in this area. Maybe someone knows about other local crime. Which actually there is a Kimono Tong hideout down here. Underneath this place, fat legs drop off. I think. Latest rumors? No. Everybody has the same one. 
You may have heard people refer to the Bitter Coast as the Smuggler's Coast. There's a reason for that. A lot of islands and coastline, with plenty of caves and hidey holes and few people around. Perfect for men with boats who want to keep their business private. So are you saying like all of this could be filled with caves too? And all of, there's so much ground to cover. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. It's already been like 30 minutes since I started recording. This is just like a hefty task. Well, we gotta... We'll get some of it. Wow! So welcome to the episode where we just stare at the sun all day. I mean, seriously. That is freaking gorgeous, man. Leo. Nothing in that one. I heard a frog. I'm gonna catch a frog. You can't actually catch frogs. I take that back. Oh yeah, this guy. Fiol the Outlaw. I know you. Let me go ahead and... Uh... Oh my goodness. Is that a Daedric Ruin? I see a glowy thing over there. That's probably an Antronach. That is a Daedric Ruin. Hello. This guy, well, he's an outlaw. Hello. Greetings, you should take care of these parts. There are murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to careless travelers. Oh yes, these are dangerous times. They'll rob you blind and cut your throat without giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry anything of value on your person. In fact, it's probably best if you just give me that gold of yours. A uh, hundred septums or so. I think you'll find the way less dangerous if you do. Oh yeah? Is that right? Take it from me if you can, Fetcher. Huh, it seemed a small price to pay for your life. No matter, though, I'll have that gold one way or another. Pfft. Fuck off. Take new ch no chances with you. You've got an axe. You can get. I've been messed up by this guy before, but that's probably a low-level concern. I really want to check out those ruins, though. Those are probably. More, um, greater rewards await me there, probably, than in pity, pitiful smuggler caves. So let's go ahead and check it out. Didn't I get a, a, a flame antronic soul? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Just making sure that I filled up that. Look at him. He's walking in the water. I'm baffled right now. Get out of the water. You're a flame atronach. You're not supposed to be in water. Come on. This is too easy. I'm just going to start saying things that NPCs say. Die, Fetcher. I mean, I was already doing that before, but... What else did they say in this game? I know the only thing they say in Skyrim is never should have come here. So I wonder what kind of shit I'm gonna run into here. More orcs, more cult worshippers, more more Daedra. How do I even get inside this place? Here we go. Clan fear. Bring it, clan fear. I've always found that kind of a strange name for an enemy. You know what I'm saying? Clan fear. Sounds like some kind of Counter Strike clan. You know what I'm saying? No scoping, bro. Clan Fear style. <laughs> Clan Phase. Yeah. <laughs> Another one of these. Empty. What do you call them? Gazebo. Yay. Oh, hello. Greetings. Who's in combat? With who? With me? You can combat with me. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's funny when they do that. Whoa. You're doing some damage with that thing. Come on. Hit the bastard. Alright, double spear time. Prepare to lose the race. Yes. You got Orcish. Orcish is a very nice. Sells for a good bit. She was doing that much damage to you with the steel Wakazashi? Jeez. She's pretty good with that thing.
Oh god. I sure need BB. Okay, I sure need BB. We're gonna quick save. Dun 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 dun. This guy's got a big sword. Ow! Oh, never mind. Ow! That one did hurt. I don't really have a good healing item. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. Muzgonk Groborbog. That's a good name. Uh, you don't find a good orc name that often in Elder Scrolls, honestly. Muzgonk? That's a good one. The girl Borbog? Hmm. 7 out of 10 right there. 7 out of 10. Steel Die Katana. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I want that. I want all of this. Thanks, Muzgonk. I am over encumbered. Fuck. You know the drill. Now right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop all of this on this guy. And then I'm gonna come out. After I'm done looting the place. And then I'm gonna pick it all up. And then I'm gonna recall back to Balmora. This stuff's heavy. Two curuses? I mean, shit. Shit, and two greaves. Come on. Alright. So how do I get inside this place? There's a scamp over there. Oh, he's coming. I uh, might need some healing. I should be okay. Just a scamp. Oh! Oh, here's the entrance. It's kind of hard to discern these things sometimes. It's marked on the map. I wish it was daytime. It'll probably be daytime when... Oh, I could just do this. Rest until healed? I need that anyway before I go inside. There we go. Not yet, actually. I was going to say, I want to kind of look around a little bit more outside. For any more people who might be, you know, wearing very expensive equipment. It doesn't look like there's actually anybody else. I saw Cliff Racer. Where'd he go? I swear I just saw Cliff Racer fly toward me and the battle music just started. Am I going crazy? Oh well. Head on in. Double campfire? I mean, I can understand one campfire, but double? What's the point? Why don't you just make one big one? Hmm, I vaguely remember this place. I think. I uh, can't really say. I must have gone to it because it's so close to Halaod, you know. I saw it from the coastline on normal view distance. Hello. Another Sermon of Vivik, number 26. Sneak skill! Hey, hey. That's actually a class skill. Ancient Rusted Daedric Key. Nice. Rising Force. Water Breathing. Excellent. Handy Dandy Potions. Hmm, who is that? I think that's Malakath. Shrine to Malakath. So who is... hanging out by the shrine? Uh, I've got... An orc mage? Oh, he burdened me. Not enough of that, though. You're a dumb dumb. God, the spear is starting to be shitty. I don't know what it is about it. Ancient Daedric Key. What's the difference? It's a different key. Oh, he's an orcish warhammer. Nice. More orcs. Many orcs. Ow! No, no, no. Okay, fuck. Restore health. And restore fatigue. And, uh, I drop that so I can be faster. Get up, get up, get up. Fuck. You want some? There you go. Boom. I think her AI kind of <laughs> made her stand still there, so. 
Where'd that orcish hammer go? Okay. I'm gonna go drop the rest of this orcish shit on the rest of that. Well, hold on a second. There's some shit over here. Which is, yep, probably guarded by a Dramor Lord. So I can kill this guy and take his weapon. I'm gonna be rich after this shit, dude. You wanna get rich? Daedric Shrines. Especially this place. Thank you. And more? Nope, just the one? Okay, I'm good with that. Let's see what else we got back here. Oh. Scroll of Red Death. Interesting. Paralysis Destruction Book. Game of Dinner. Alchemy. Nice. What does that put me at? 7 out of 10. 4 endurance points. I should. I, I really should be good to get max out endurance after this run. Scroll of Restoration. Nice. It has magic on it. A little bit. 150 points of health and fatigue, though. That's pretty good. Lots of good stuff on this table. That was all good stuff. Oh, scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Greater domination. Wow, look at that value. But also command 10 levels. I don't I don't know how good that is. Maybe I can use that. Maybe I can use that to get the key from Andres Nerano. Although that's probably a waste of money. I can I can bribe him for less gold than it would cost for me to sell this. You know what I'm saying? Take that, take all of that. That's all good stuff. In fact, there's not a single scroll in the entire game that's a magical scroll, that is, that I won't pick up because they all pretty much are worth a good bit of money. Okay, I'm going to go drop off all this stuff on that corpse outside, and then I'll come right back inside, just for convenience. Okay, back inside, it'll clear a little bit of room. Still have quite a bit of weight on me. Oh, I have raw ebony, and lots of Palma eggs and stuff. Oh well. Hopefully I have enough to make it through this place. And get everything that is, uh, you know, desirable. Block level 45 and trapped. Okay. I have some scrolls of unhinging. But I, but I may run out. I should be okay. It's on the lower side of the range. 40 to 60. Where is that damn thing anyway? Here we go. Come on, first try. Fuck. Alright, come on. One more. Yes, got it. Oh, I didn't even try to open it, did I? Hold on. There, I reloaded it. Because the... Uh, yep, it opens with the Daedric key that I picked up. Which I got two of them. Wow, this guy has Templar armor. Hello. Uh, hello? You have killed my captors. I am grateful. I can find my own way from here. Who are you? Johnson's Dalamax. Oh, you're in the Imperial Legion, are you? I haven't much time, so be quick about this. Hmm, I want to kill you. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm killing you now. <laughs> you attacked me first. I was just having a peek inside your pockets. <laughs> Imperial scum, die. No crime. No bounty. Nah, no nothing. But I do got the Imperial. Temp oh, that Templar shit's worth jack shit. Which is weird. You'd think it'd be worth a good bit. It's freaking golden. It's gilded. There's nothing else in this place? There's some dude in a cage. And, uh... Ha ha ha! The rusted key works here. What do we have further inside? Let me see that, um... I probably picked up an, a Legion quest. Rescue Johnson's Dolmax. Oh, whoa! Thank you. Thanks for the the random quest. Look at this. Oh, never mind. I, I misread something. I thought I like filled in some other journal entries that came before the one that I just got. Honestly, you shouldn't get a journal entry for a quest that you haven't complete or you haven't started. But also, that shouldn't stop you from being able to turn it in. Wow, I'm glad I have some water breathing because I'm gonna need it. It looks like. <clears throat> what the hell is going on back here?
A lot of breathing. Probably could make it over here, but... Oh, whatever. Might as well just drink it. No big deal. I might have to suffer on the way back, though. Alright, with this... Can I get on this ramp thingy now? Please? There we go. Exit water. Now where am I? I'm back at the beginning? Really? What was the point of the loop around? Oh, I guess you could, um... Wait. I guess you could levitate or really high jump up there with the rusted key. Swim around to the back entrance and rescue him from, you know, the back door. Instead of, uh, going through the orcs. Which... I'm going to take a one more look around and make sure I didn't miss anything before we uh, head out. Because you never know with these places. You never know. There could be like a second floor that I could levitate up to or something like that. Which would be quite a lot of loot to miss out on, even if it's just a small side area. With one NPC, I'll dispose of the corpses, actually. I cannot remove this corpse? Why not? Durgrash Grow Rushub. Well, you can have your robe back. For whatever reason, I can't dispose of your corpse. So, you can look at this guy's taint. Ugh. Well, it doesn't look like there's any extra floors up there. Or anything like that. Alright, let's go get our loot. Let's go get that loot. What's that guy doing? Look at this. What's going on? I, um... I exited, and then I got into battle with this guy. I ran up here, and I quick saved. And then my game crashed. And now he's doing this. Man, would you stop running around? Sit down, fool. More enemies. Oh, here comes a clan fear. Great. Come here. Little bastard Daedra. Hit me. Hurt me more. I'm actually getting a fair bit of Daedra hearts. I'm still in battle. Look, there's a cliff racer. Okay, fine. We'll blow you up too, I guess. Where's my ring of lightning bolt? Fireball. That'll do. There you go. Blast him from afar. There you go. Stay dead. Thanks for all the gear. Holy shit. Let's go cash in, guys. Let's go cash in.